All right, good evening, YouTube. Um, it's currently 11 15 2016. Uh, time is 11 44 p.m. It's almost midnight. Um, sitting here bored, not doing much. Baby and Kirsten are sleeping. Um, but yeah, not really doing anything tonight. Um, put up a new video yesterday, um, which was me and Billy shooting. We finally hooked up, got out, um, I had some Tannerite, shot it, blew some stuff up, it was awesome. Um, did some, uh, pistol shooting, nothing funny, just having fun. Um, if you saw that video and saw me make a comment uh, towards the end of our pistol shooting you heard me say um, girls if you see a shooting you're better off shooting yourself I did not mean shooting yourself I meant you're better off shooting the assailant yourself because we are not putting any rounds on target hardly so just to clear that up if you saw that got offended I'm sorry it was not meant to be uh, taken that way it was meant to be as a funny as we can't get a single round on target where we're shooting. We're all over the place, so you're better off shooting the damn person yourself. So, I apologize if anyone took that the wrong way to start this video off. Um, it's This video is not really... Well, I guess you can call it unboxing, but it's just a new piece of equipment that I acquired... Um, my mom bought some, or bought a, uh, Photoshop editing software, I guess you call it. Um, she wants me to use it, I think I've mentioned it in one of my first few videos. She wants me to do the editing on pictures, uh, for her books that she writes. Um, she's also talking about doing... Uh, like a voice recording or possibly videos for trailers to advertise her books. Um, so one of the, the things that she picked up besides the software, um, she recently just got this. Oh, sorry. Let's see. There you go. Meteor Mic USB Studio Microphone for Computer Recording. Uh, the brand is a Samson. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I finally got a microphone to plug into my computer and work for the camera so I can hopefully get some better audio. So, I already have it unboxed. I'm using it actually currently as we speak. Um, this thing's heavy duty. It is literally metal. Um, like the uh, 60s, well not 60s, but the mid 1900s, when they used a nice studio metal microphone, so this thing's cool, um, it came in the box, all folded up, but you fold this down, I know the audio is going to suck right now because I make it so much noise fold these flaps down and it becomes a tripod so you can set it on the table desk wherever you're going to set it up and you have a microphone right in front of you uh, there is a USB port on the back a place to plug in headphones so you can hear yourself as you're talking. On the front is a volume knob with a light, you know, indicator thing it's on. So, um, little rubber feet so you get some grip. Uh, plugging it in, getting it to work. I'm really happy with this microphone uh, excellent quality heavy duty like I said it's metal 
uh, I don't know if it's stainless steel, but I mean, it is metal. It's heavy. Uh, maybe half pound. Um, I'm not gonna throw on a scale or anything, but just to assume, I'd say about it's about a half pound. This thing's got some weight to it. Uh, everything is on it is metal except for like some grommets for the legs so you know you can move it and it's gonna stick in place it's not gonna flop around or you know move but I am my mom got it said hey try it out let me know what you think so I was able to get it hooked into my computer has a USB port that plugs in and uh, went to the settings was able to get it to work unlike I got a little lapel or lavalier microphone I can't remember what the hell it's called but doing little clips on your shirt I haven't been able to get that to work on anything um, this is the first one I've actually got to work it's actually the audio comes through on the camera none of my others had done that it would come through on a voice recording or like just regular audio recording but when you have a video trying to improve the audio I had nothing that would work this one somehow some way I got to work and it is excellent I love it so I'm real happy with this um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing wrist braces uh, Two thousand four ish, right after I graduated high school. Um, it was summer, Memorial weekend. I was riding a dirt bike. I crashed, broke my wrist. Um, I don't know if it's because winter's here, the temperatures dropped, the bones. Oh my God! I cannot put any weight on my wrist. So, um, surprisingly, this little brace. I don't know if it's an old ankle brace that Kirsten had, um, or if it's actually made for your wrist, but she had two of them. I threw them, threw them on my wrist, and it's actually just enough pressure where I move them, put some pressure on them, I'm good to go. So I've been wearing those, and then sitting here on my in front of my computer typing and all that, my hands rub back and forth on the edge of the computer or the edge of the table. So this just also helps my wrist slide back and forth. So that's what I'm doing. I'm wearing them. Um, just for a random blog that's going on here. You see I'm getting scruffy. Uh, I can't remember if I said it in a previous video. I'm doing a no-shave November, but I started like a week early, so I know I don't do facial hair. It's never really come in, so it might end up going before the end of November, before I hit, De before I hit December. Um, it might go. I'm not sure yet. I hate having mustaches. Um, the hair is always too long. It curls on my lip. I've, I can't rock a mustache, so... It's actually really, really irritating right now. But, uh, it might go. I was this close to shaving it the other day, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to stick it out, let it go. So, we'll see what happens. Um, not, haven't been doing daily vlogs lately. Um, I was happy to get that video up with me and Billy. I was happy to get out do some shooting, hang out with my buddy, and have some fun. Uh, he added some comedy to it, just the way we act, the way he acts as commentary. Um, stuff he did behind my back when I wasn't looking. Uh, sliding in a 12-round mag. Just, you know, turn a fa the camera around, getting some facial expressions off him. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> you made those videos. Uh, great guy. I've known him since... Uh, um, since my sophomore year, um, so that's 
was 2000. So 16 years me and Billy have been friends. It's been a long time. Um, he moved away shortly after high school. He's bounced around, but he came back, actually moved up to my town. We connected a couple years ago, and uh, we just been every now and again, and when our uh, days off collide, we get out and we do something. So the fact that he's back from Texas, uh, he had some time off, we were able to get out and do some, something fun. Uh, it felt good. Definitely need to work on uh, from the outing, I guess you'll call it. I need to, I need to work on my footage. Um, I filmed or video, I should say. The one that's shaky. The audio wasn't real good. You always hear like a little bit of clinking when I'm missing the camera. I was filming on my Vivitar 787HD. Just a little action camera on this mini tripod. Legs fold in just like this. And so that's, you hear that make that noise. So that's what I was doing when I was doing the handheld stuff. Um, the camera, it's not the best. It's not a GoPro, but you know, it does what I want. It captures video. Uh, I try to put a microphone or get a microphone for it. Uh, that's why I got that lapel microphone. I was hoping to make that work. It didn't work. Um, the rest of the footage where I was doing the close ups, getting some zoom going. Yeah, I was eating cashews. The camera I was using to get the close-ups and all that was that camera by Mom's, the Nikon Coolpix L120. Uh, amazingly, audio was picked up pretty good. I'm happy with that. I kind of wish I had a third person there as like a cameraman instead of having to sit on a tripod. But um, I made made it work uh, that video you see the action cam footage and then you see the uh, Nikon footage the editing software I'm using is just strictly what's on YouTube I have nothing downloaded um, depending on what happens with this Photoshop software my mom got I might use that if I can figure it out and if it will work for me um, what I wanted to do with that video was have one video play with an inset of the second angle. I have no idea how to do that. Um, I wish I could have added some better audio rather than just what I had in the beginning. Because I want to put music in, but... I don't want to have just random music playing throughout the whole video. I want it playing in certain moments, this and the other. So I can't, you know, do an intro with music. Talk, 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 music, talk, 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 music. The way it looks like the YouTube editing software or creator is, you throw in the music or audio that you want to use with the you know footage you capture but it just lines up one after another and you can't space it so it's either you either have music playing all the way through the video or um You know, it just makes the video crappy. I want to be able to, like, have my intro music play. Stop. Talk. Do what I'm doing. If there's a moment where I want to add uh, different audio or music or whatever, I can gap it. I don't know how to do that. You know, just thinking about it, yeah, I could probably put in 
audio as a filler, but just mute it. So where I want to put music, I just, you know, cut it, insert what I want, and then just insert more stuff and mute it until I, you know, want to bring it back. That is, a, you know, wasted, you know, just wasting audio as a filler just to get to the point where you want to put music rather than, you know, okay, I'm doing this scene, put music. I'm doing this scene, I want to put music. It, I got to get it figured out. Um, if anyone watches this can tell me what to do, how to do it, please. Uh, I'd like to know what software you're using, um, what editing techniques or whatever help you can offer would be great. But yeah, all I'm using is the YouTube creator and it can get me by, but as you can see, my video is going to suck. So if you can offer, hey, you know, try this software, um, try doing this, this, or if you know how to use it properly, the YouTube creator, explain it to me, please. Um, I would like to figure it out. So that's that for now. So that's the explaining of the video, my comment, new product that I'm using this microphone I'm liking it um, the cameras I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, excuse me I have my old Verizon LG I just ordered a microphone for that and I was like everything I record on that goes to the cloud or go somewhere and then when I import it to the computer it imports everything I don't want that so I need to I got this thing it is it's called the white Taylor I ordered it from Bass Pro Shop wait in the camera sorry about that and it plugs in with a USB into the charger port of your phone. And then you spread this open. There is a USB port with the mini SD and the regular size SD. So if your phone, like my Galaxy S7, as far as I know, there's no port for a mini SD. My Verizon LG G2, there's no port for a micro SD. This, you plug into that charger port and you can actually put video or your files saved to this and then you can import it through your computer. I haven't tried yeah, I haven't tried that yet. Um, the only thing I've done was um, when me and Billy have been out scouting with our trail cameras, I take the SD card, I plug this into my phone, and just use it as a picture reader. So I could see what my camera took on its SD card on my phone in the field rather than buying a $100 card reader. I got this for 20 bucks from Bass Pro Shop. So, I might hook this up to one of my cameras and see if I can record a video and then either save it or import it to an SD card rather than plug the USB charger into the USB port on the computer then plug into the phone and then import it that way because I, that's giving me a headache. I don't like that when I could save it directly to a card and then just use this little doohicker that has the USB port to plug into the computer but it's also the mini and full-size SD card reader 
then this side is that lightning uh, card reader I believe it's called for like the Apple devices so if I could take the video on my phone and save it to this and then import it to my computer to this that eliminates half my headache so I might try that because I really can't afford GoPro or a new camera. I'm using my little action cam as you just saw. I got that 60 bucks from Walmart. My, or that, not mine, but that Nikon I'm using. Like I said, it's my mom's camera. I'm borrowing it until she needs it. All I have is the computer camera that's on the laptop my action camera and cell phone. Um, I see a lot of people vlog and do stuff with a cell phone. Um, I might just use the LG G2 for that because I don't want to clutter this up, which is my normal phone that I'm using. I don't want to clog it up with pictures and video and stuff that's not important. Right now, the only thing I have on there are videos of my daughter playing, me and her goofing off, or just pictures of her or random things. Um, if I take pictures of random things, I usually upload them to Facebook or the computer and then boom, deleted. I don't want random unwanted pictures clogging up the memory on my phone so that is that I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to do a video since me and Billy went shooting I want to do a gun cleaning video I'm still trying to figure out the best way to set up for that because I have the selfie stick mount that, you know, clamps your camera. So I could put that on like one of my tripods and have it angled down and like try and work around it and capture the video. I've seen people on YouTube, they put like, you know, mounts or boom bars with camera mounts to get video or I just watched this one that the guy has his camera, it's pointed up at a mirror, and the mirror does like a vertical um, video. But then again, since it's on a mirror, everything you look in it is reversed. So then I'd have to like, you know, flip the video somehow. And... <sighs> now we're getting technical. I don't like technical. I want nice, simple, and easy. So, um, I could take... My tripod, put my selfie mount on there, and then just, you know, record downwards and maybe try and work around it. Um, maybe work off to the side, but then I don't know how people like a side video when I'm working this way, but the camera's coming in now. I don't know. I'll have to play with it. So that's some of the things I'm going to try and work with um, I got the idea to do you know my cleaning video maybe show off this audio is probably sucking right now wiggle 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 um, I got my gun cleaning video I want to do um, I have several rifles and my pistols I can do this is what I got kind of video I just depending on how I do it I want to get the sky view I just gotta figure out the best way to capture the video if anyone has inputs please share It'd be really recommended um, other than that I think that is it. So, 
I'll catch you guys later. Just wanted to do a quick review unboxing of this microphone. Throw out some stuff. Like I said, random shit. Nothing special. So, I've flapped my gums for 25 minutes now. If you're watching this, have a good night. Have a good day. Have a good afternoon. Uh, be safe and carry on. I'll see you guys later. Bye.